Hello there. So this video is based on a previous one when we created a way to fetch prefetch data in Next.js 13.4 with React Query. And what we're gonna do in this video is basically we're gonna prefetch data for infinite scroll. So let's see how we can do that. So basically first we just need to replace bridge prefetch query with the prefetch infinite query and because of that we need to provide a page for this request which we're gonna do shortly so we're gonna have the page param here which is the default and then we set it to page one by default so if we do not send anything here we will get basically page uh, page one and then copy this and basically what we want here is to add the parameter uh, I mean the query parameters which you can add it like this in other in Nexus we have a single parameter uh, where is the options and we then get the params and then we set out the page and basically that's it for prefetching the infinite query once we did that, we need to go to the post client and basically we need to replace the use care query with the use infinite query, which we're gonna place, replace that there. And we need to do one more thing. So basically we need to set this callback function to basically how to increase for the next page. So the next page will be the page's length, all of the data in the pages, uh, because basically the data in the pages, uh, the data is based basically on pages. So we're gonna have something like this, an array of arrays where we have uh, some posts here, posts. This is for first pa first page, and then. We're gonna have it for the second page and so on. So that's why we basically measure the length of this big array, which has small array with within it, within it, and we add it plus one. So go to the next page. Cool. So in order to do that, basically we need to iterate over pages and let's copy just this and then map as well but we're gonna name this as a group and then we're gonna quickly create a fragment here and set the key to index for now because it's all right for now and my Autocomplete AI yeah, autocomplete works fine. So we're gonna iterate over the group and then we're gonna post every, we're gonna print out, render out every post. Good. So now if we're gonna go to the page, you're gonna see that not thing changes. I mean, something changed. We do not get all like we do not get a lot of items. We have a limit for 10, I guess, which is the default one. And basically now we can get a few things here from the use infinite query hook. So we're gonna get is loading, is fetching next page, fetch next page and has next page, which is nice. And we're gonna quickly say if is fetching next page we're gonna say write a div there and then gonna say loading more and for the other side we're gonna say if has next page if there will be a next page then we're gonna add a button with an on click which will be basically this one and for the last part we're gonna be null which is good 
let's see what's wrong here cannot find name div <coughs> why is that I'm not sure does this break okay so basically what we do here <coughs> if it has no we can say no I mean it's okay if it's fetching next page we're gonna say loading more if not we're gonna show the model which will fetch the next page right and we have the loading here which we do not need for the first load because we basically preload that on server so if you click load more you see it loads more and this can be easily implemented like uh, with an infinite scroll or something like that which is super cool so that's pretty much it on how to basically add an infinite scrolling using a rack query right just add prefetch infinite query and then for your specific request add your parameter which is like your specific way of fetching uh, the, the data there in this case with it is with pages not cursors and then for the posts basically you just get up the groups which are the pages that I showed uh, before it's like a matrix and then print out every single post from that uh, group and then you can fetch more and you can we have a flag to show loading more if you want that or show a spin or something like that and if it, there are no pages you can say something there but usually when there are no pages you will not have any load more button or the infinite scroll will not work anymore so yeah that's pretty much it hope uh, it's helpful for you guys and don't forget to like subscribe and also you're gonna have this code in the description below